Hi, it's the Rossum Vegan Gal here, and today I'm continuing with my series called 10 Steps to Heal Yourself. Um, and we're up to part six, or I say I'm up to part six. So again, this is taken from the book by Dr. Lisa Raskin called Mind Over Medicine, Scientific Proof That You Can Heal Yourself. And again, I'm just taking the, the just the main, uh, I guess, um, focus of her topic, or the headline of her top of her topic, and then I'm just expounding on them. I haven't read the book, but if you have, great, and you have a comment, please welcome to leave that below. So number six is called Finding Your Calling and Engaging in Work You Love Could Lengthen Your Life. Now, so why would this be so? Um, well, if you think about it, when you find something that you feel like kind of grasps you or draws your attention or gets you focused, you have a purpose. It's like that kind of goes together with it. So you're, 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 you have something to fulfill, bring fulfillment to your life. So you're engaging in something that um, maybe it's good for you, maybe it's helpful for other people. So, you know, like, you know, because that's what we want to do. We want to share what we know with other people. So maybe by you doing that, you being in this world is important because you're actually helping other people. So that could be another thing. So, you know, finding your calling isn't always easy either. So that's another thing. Um, what I've heard from some certain people is that how do you know what it is your calling is or what you're here for? So think about any kind of gifts or talents that the one above, I, I'm religious, so, you know, uh, that's important. He gives us different talents and abilities. So think about something that you have a good ability at or you're just intuitively uh, um, good at something, nobody's taught you, or something you've learned that you're very good at. And other people say, wow, you're so good at X, you know, and why don't you do something with it? Maybe you're in a job that's not meaningful and then that also can shorten your life because you're stressed. So if you find something that you enjoy doing, and you're good at it, and other people are interested in that, that could be where you need to focus. So, like, for example, I can give you just an example. Like, let's say you're a person who has a really nice voice and can sing. Um, you know, you can use that for the benefit of other people to help them, for example, sing in, in, in for people who are sick, you know, in a hospital for children. Or, um, or for the elderly at senior centers. I mean, you may not necessarily get paid for that, but who knows? Maybe that can lead to something where it can become your means for making a living. You know, um, you know, people use it, if you use it as a tool for good, you know, other people use it as a means to just make money and become fame, fame, famous and fortune. And it just isn't always... Um, a satisfying or fulfilling to your life because it's not real. If you do something that makes you feel good inside, that you're contributing, that's a different story. So you could use it for something good and other people like what you say or even if you're a good speaker, you know, like speak to people, motivate people instead of use it, use it for good. So that's the way that what you do could lengthen your life because what it is is it actually nourishes you even though you're actually helping other people, everything that you do for other people really do for yourself. So by you doing that, you're actually benefiting yourself in the end. So that could be a way where once you find your calling, you're realizing like you feel so satisfied and nourished, so to speak. You, there's, a, there's, there's something that's hard to explain unless you've actually experienced it like I have in different ways. That you feel so fulfilled when you can help other people and you realize that's your calling. Like, wow. You know, people want me to help them with this or suggest things to them or whatever it may be for you. So that's the thing to look into. So look at what you're really good at. You know, it could be something that you think wouldn't be any benefit to anyone, but you don't know. You know, like let's say you have a certain ability in something, you know, for teaching, you know, and you could teach people and help people in certain ways. Maybe they're not as capable, so you have a good... Um, you know, command of something and a good way to share it with people that they'll understand and be attentive to you because maybe in school they're not. So there's different things you can do, so you have to really look at that. So again, finding your calling and engaging in work you love can lengthen your life, and that is why, because it's fulfilling to you, it's satisfying to you, it's a, a reason for you to be alive because you have a purpose and a goal and something else you can help others with. So I think that's a great thing to uh, consider and think about. So, um, 
you know, look into that for yourself. You know, start to do some, as we say, soul searching and find out what works for you. And I thank you for watching. It's the Rawsome Vegan Gal.